Okay, let's do a take two since my first one didn't come out all that good. This is how you um, splice the copper cable. This doesn't uh, get done too often anymore, especially uh, now everybody's using fiber a lot of times, but you still find, especially in more rural areas. This is a pluggable mod, it's red. Okay, you have minis too. If you guys want to see me do a mini end uh, and hook them up, I can do that too in the comments. I did one already. Uh, the angle of the camera wasn't, wasn't very good, so we're gonna do another one. Uh, I already tied my super binder together. This is a red super binder, and I'll show you how I tied it uh, with this one. Uh, this is the white orange group. Okay, so this particular cable has two binders per super binder. So what I'll do is I'll tie my super binder together. I'll do one mod at a time. Some guys have double heads. I just use one. What I'll do here, I have my white orange binder colors and and really this is the way the couple videos that i've seen on youtube don't really explain it too well and they don't do it right right um they'll come off of the cable and they'll come straight into the, the back of the splice head and the cable will be all fanned out like this the right way to do it or at least the prettier way to do it is to have the arm they come in different lengths sizes some of them slide in um but what you'll do is you'll bring it in, bring it around, and your cable will come in at an angle on the side, just like this. So then when you end up the, done with your splice, it'll look like this, and it'll lay nice inside your terminal, nice in your pedestal, and then instead of coming in like this and having, you know, mods don't lay good in sideways, the terminals, they, they want to fit in this lengthways. So what I'll do is, this particular cable comes in two different binders. Uh, even though it's the same color binder, it comes in two separate binders. I'll take this and put my finger through, do a loop around, and I'll grab that tag end and pull it tight. I'll slide it down to this portion of the cable. Now to not lose it for your super binder, what you'll do is you'll, you'll separate your uh, binder you have your white and your orange or whatever color you're doing Wrap one way wrap it around the cable one way Wrap the other end around the other way tie it in a couple knots that keeps it from being all floppy and sliding around on you Okay, then we can set this to the side for now What we'll do is we'll lay our cable in here Some guys are really fast at this some guys aren't Really depends some guys are faster depending on the workload too, or slower. So you'll take your pairs in, lay them in here. These pairs are all color coded on the, on the comb here. So you'll just go color for color, white, blue, all the way to violet slate. And pull these nice and tight. The tighter you pull these and stick them down in your springs, the better they're going to stay in there when you go to crimp it later. See, I already screwed up on one. I put the red brown in the red slate spot. Most companies now don't even hire new guys to splice copper. It's kind of a dying thing. Like I said, pretty much everybody is go into fiber unless you're in a rural portion of the world coppers is kind of going to be a thing in the past here pretty shortly especially splicing and, and troubleshooting so you got your first set done you're gonna take your second set if you have two sets like I said some cable comes when with a set of 13 and a set of 12 and some cable comes with a set of 25 all in one uh, that's just this particular cable remember go ahead and tie your knot keeps that nice and steady I do a double knot so don't slip out okay set that to the side go ahead and lay your next set of pairs in doesn't have to be in any order. You don't have to pick out the white blues and do all the white, or sorry, you don't have to pick out all the whites and do all the whites and 
then the reds. You can just pick them out and go. Sometimes they don't want to flick the right way for you. Make sure you got all your tips to the left, rings to the right. They make a little comb. Um, it's an orange comb that you can lay in here and slide it one way and it'll show all your tips and slide it the other way and it'll show all your rings. I, I don't have one. I, I've used them in the past. I, I don't feel like I need to use them anymore. I, I've done this long enough that you're going to make mistakes. It's inevitable, but it is what it is. Okay, you got them all laid in there. Make sure you got your tips on the left, rings on the right. Cool. Now what I'll do differently than anything I've seen on YouTube is before I put my cap down, I'll take I'll take my um, binders the strings for the binder and I will take them in here and I'll lay them in right by the white blue okay now I'll lay my cap in make sure none of them are jumping the track where your cap is uh, this happens more often with the pluggables than the minis the minis they seem to sit down in the, the caps a little bit better this is your crimp head take your crimp head hydraulic crimp head slide it on there step, step back probably Start squeezing away. Once you, once it um, once it reaches to the point where you're done, it'll it'll kind of cam out. It'll click. You'll know you're done. Right there, you can release. Now, how you know if you got them all in the right spot, or is when you pull the tag ends out, the little scrap pieces out, they'll all come out. If you have one that jumps the track, it'll be stuck in there and it won't come out. Okay, take that, scrap it or do whatever you do with it. Then I will take my pocket knife, cut these ends off. All right. Now what you have, like I said, nice flat mod that'll sit in a terminal really nice. Instead of like this, it'll sit in a terminal like this. You can fit a lot more in there, a lot easier. And you have your binders going all the way to the very end of your mod so you don't have to be looking way back here and trying to dig through them especially if you have a bigger cable it gets more difficult you can look right here oh i got my i got my red super binder white blue and white orange mods or binders and that's it you're done then you repeat the process till your cable's done the other side you'll put minis on um, you can plug them together with a crimp uh, crimper tool or you can do them both in the splice head at one time you can do the mini side then do the pluggable side um, it's a little bit more difficult uh, sometimes it it saves you on time so that's how you splice 25 pair